Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and today we are going to make an eyeball that we can use as a mask. If this is content that you enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this one. All right, let's get started. The first thing we do is pump up our ball. This one was the perfect size for my head. <laughs> Then I start setting my table up and I grab my ripped newspaper and my glue mixture and I wrap my ball in the first layer of paper. Then I grab a thicker paper and this one you've seen before in, I hope you've seen it before in my other video, but it's this roll on the side that you see here. It's a paper that you lay down on the floor whenever you're painting your home. So I use that. Then I did that process two more times. So I have a total of four layers on my ball. Make sure to let each layer dry before you go on to the next one. I grabbed some white paint that I had around the house. It's a little glossy, so this is perfect. I had also purchased spray that's just glossy paint and I totally forgot <laughs> to put that there. So, you know, you either purchase a glossy white or remember to use the gloss. <laughs> I painted a total of two coats of white on my eyeball. Once that's dry, it's time to deflate our ball and remove it from our eyeball. I didn't cover the entire ball in my paper, so it was easier for me to put to cut just a smaller part and put this over my head. I then drew uh, the area where I would be able to see from, so that would be my pupil, and then I drew another circle around that to be the iris. I wasn't really sure what color eye I would make, but I decided I wanted a brown eye because Mine is brown and it's beautiful. So I figured I would go with that, even though this brown is a lot lighter than my <laughs> eye color. But you see that I am painting the iris and the pupil. Then I grab some red paint to start drawing in all of these veins around the eyeball. It makes it a little bit creepy, but I mean, that's what an eye looks like. Good morning. Today we are going to work on finishing this up. Last night I got eaten by so many mosquitoes, like my legs are covered in bites, but I think it was worth it. Well, you know, kind of, because I hate mosquitoes. But I'm gonna be enjoying my cup of coffee today and work on finishing this up. It's a really quick make, I think, and quick costume that we can enjoy. There are a few things I'm gonna be doing with it that include some fabric, so I'll walk you through it. Might be some more time lapse because, I don't know. Let me know if you enjoy time lapse videos or if you want me to go a little bit slower. I usually do a lot of time lapse, but let me know in the comments. If you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this one. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of coffee with my little assistant here, Nebula. Oh my god. And that's Teddy and G doing something. Right, baby girl? I grabbed a lid and drew that onto my iris and then started cutting that out. All right, so now that we have this hole cut out, I'm gonna put some of this fabric in here so that you don't see inside, and that's our pupil. All 
All right, so now you can see I have both of my assistants here. <laughs> I think it looks great. Obviously, there is a little bit of brown that I could put on this side because I cut it too off. It was off center, but it's fine. I can see through it. One of the issues that I am still trying to figure out with these round costumes is how do I make it stay on my head? Because it just like bobbles around. I still haven't figured it out. Maybe I can put like an elastic strap, kind of like I did with my teapot, and we'll see if, if that could work. But at and blah. But so far, I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm gonna put another bit of fabric down here, like I did with the teapot, so that it doesn't hurt, you know, my neck or anything. So I'll grab that fabric real quick and we'll keep working on it. This is a fleece fabric. I find that this is a lot more comfortable when I make these pieces. All right, so you see I finished this piece up and it looks really good. Like you can't even see it on the camera or at least I can't see it from over here. So now that I have this, I think it's ready for us to get dressed. And there it is. <laughs> this is the costume. I don't know if you hear an echo. I really like how this turned out. The outfit isn't exactly. Let me take this off. Ooh, look at this hair. The outfit isn't exactly what I wanted. I actually had a completely different design that I wanted to create for this, but I feel like this is something that we can do fairly quickly Whoop. and it's like it's easy I'm reusing things that I've already I already have in my closet which is something that I'm realizing I haven't really been doing I've been making a lot of my outfits so I'm glad that I was able to do it for this one this here is just like a strap that I have from one of my other outfits and since I crochet you know I have a lot of red yarn so I pretty much just wrapped some yarn around this strap and uh, put some around my hands my gloves and just have that be kind of like the veins of course this was inspired by an image I saw on Pinterest and that image is like perfection in terms of costumes this one of you know obviously it's just a quick costume that i and i think it's like really fun uh that you can make if you do have a onesie you can wear that or if you have red colored clothing you can use that and you'll be the vein i don't know if you noticed but i have these little uh, marks here on my eye but that's because i also have those marks in my eye do you have some of those? Let me know in the comments below. I didn't put anything to hold this on my head. I actually have my hair in a bun and that like perfectly balances it out <laughs> for, for me. But if you do it, just like maybe put some like a strap so it'll like balance here. For me, the bun was more than enough. But this is it. This is the final costume. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this one. If you do make this costume, please make sure to share it with me on Instagram. You can tag me or you can tag me on TikTok. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit further, you can do that by, by buying me a coffee on Ko-fi or Ko-fi. 
I don't know how you say it, but I'll put the link in the description below. Again, thank you so much for being here and watching. I, your support really means everything, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Get it? I'll see you. Ooh.